Good morning, hello, and welcome to another video. Um, right, quick update on the Jag. Uh, since you saw the last video we did on the window repair um, for a couple of weeks now, uh, we've been using the Jag. I've done a couple of long trips in the Jag, and lo and behold, there's been no problems. None whatsoever. No misfiring, nothing. Just running like an absolute dream. So, um, annoying, I will admit, this is annoying because I wanted a fault, because I knew there's a fault, and there has been a fault, but I can't find a fault. So, we're just going to run the Jag now to see how long it lasts before I put the cutting torch through it, probably. Um, also, as well, in the meantime, it's just passed its MOT. Uh, just a couple of advisories um, with underbody corrosion, which was a bit mm, hit and miss. It's an 18 year old Jag, so it's done well to get this far without any welding done. You know, she's got 117,000 miles on the clock. So again, yeah, okay, fair enough. So maybe next year, uh, once the winter's over and done, if I've still got the car, we'll get it up on the ramps and we'll have a look how bad it is. Uh, and they just mentioned uh, a little bit of an oil leak on the engine, which that's had since the day I got the car. It's always had a little bit of an oil leak, but it's all it is, it's just where it's a little bit damp, probably from the sump gasket, and it's just making a bit of a mess underneath. But I'm not going to worry too much about that. I check the levels regularly anyway. Um, so, so far with the Jag, annoyingly, all good. So... Uh, what are we doing today? Um, weather permitting. <laughs> See how this goes. Right, we've got a little bit of a problem with the Ambassador. Uh, okay, it's just a little one. It's one that I've known for quite a while. Um, as you know, it's a Vandenpla model and it's got electric windows in the front. Um, I come to go out in it the other day, put the window down, come to put it back up and he wouldn't go. And as per usual, you have to give the door a bit of a thump and up it goes. Only this time it didn't go up, it just went up in little stages. So I've got a feeling motor brushes are going to be knackered, is the word. So, or it maybe just won't clean enough, but bear in mind the Ambassador has been, was purchased from a scrapyard anyway. Um... And I've done no real heavy work on that car. It's just been a load of little running repairs that I've just taken care of as and when. Um, so I think while it's dry, we'll get her opened up, get that door card off and see if I can get the motor out. Hmm. I'm not sure how they come out on that. I've got to be honest. Um, so, yeah. Right. Stay tuned and uh, we'll get cracking. So let's not mess around because the weather's not looking good. So that's the door panel uh, off. Um, nice and easy to remove on these. Just a, a couple of little screws from the mirror surround. Um, one from the door handle, one from the main door pull. And take the, um, the little lock plastic thing off and literally just un, uh, unclip. None of the clips have broken, which is surprising given it's 40 years old and the Jag came together came apart in a complete mess but here we go we've got the old-fashioned bit of polythene stuck on with some uh, gaffer tape which I've got plenty of um, so yeah it's just a case of unbolting that window regulator is here so I think while it's still uh, in one piece I will bring the window down a little bit just so I can uh, make life a little bit easier for myself um, looking at it I suppose the window regulator is going to come from out of here uh, and it's just bolted on with four bolts there so nice easy so far let's see how we get on so that's the motor out um, really easy to get out to be fair um, just unbolt from here support the window and then just basically slide it off off the uh, the rollers off the uh, the runner there so as we can see it's a uh, it's a uh, made in uh, i don't know where the, is it taiwan no mm, can't quite see that but it's a g it's a g a c c i m motor and it does look as though it is sealed 
Um, but anyway, what we've got here, we've got the little gearbox. We'll have a worm drive there. And in inside here will be the motor as such. Uh, now I'm guessing that the brushes are just going to be totally worn. Um, but there are some bent bent over tabs there. So with a bit of luck, um, we'll get this in the shed. We'll open these tabs up and we'll see if we can... Uh, take the motor out we shall see stay tuned so as luck would have it bending those tabs um, out from the end of the motor there the brush gear as it's kind of known as in the trade on a motor um, looks to be okay apart from if, if you can see that there is one long brush and one short brush um, that the brushes look to be in really good condition, so there's plenty of life on that one. That one there, I'm, I'm guessing that it's just a little bit stuck. Um, because there's plenty of life on those brushes. And it may just want the uh, commutator cleaning up a little bit as a result of one sticking brush. So um, it's just going to be a case of uh, getting a, some really fine hemery cloth to polish that back up to a nice copper um color uh it motor does turn nice and easy obviously it's going to be noisy because i haven't got the the bearing on the back there but it does turn quite freely and it does turn the um sprockets nice and easy as well so all's good with the motor as such so all i need to do is just investigate why this one is playing up a little uh it might be just sticky um now i'm not sure if there's any holes in the back here uh normally on something like this it looks to be all assembled in one type of thing now normally there are a couple of little holes in the back here uh, i will scrape all this black stuff off and have a look basically all this black stuff is um rust protection uh, and I will show you inside the door because I was amazed how much is actually in there. Um, really impressed considering when you look at the window video that I did on the Jag. Um, I had to put some in myself because Jaguar couldn't be bothered. So all credit due to British Leyland as they were in, back in the day. They did uh, concentrate on a bit of rust protection on the Ambassador especially inside the door. So I'm... Uh, a big thumbs up i'm quite impressed with that so let's uh, have a look see what i can do with this uh, brush gear then and uh, get this motor put back together so with a little bit of um electrical contact cleaner you can now see that the brush is now meet in the middle and this sticky one is now nice and free so all i need to do now is put this back on the motor hmm wish me luck um, so yeah, I'm going to have to look basically to see if there are any holes in there because I might have to put some pins in and basically what it means is holding back um, the brushes, holding them right back into the into their uh, receptacles, if that's the word for them and basically what you do, you put a little uh, small drill bit like a 2mm or 1mm drill hold them back, push the motor together and then pull them out from this end uh, it might have to be that I'll clean this up now and it might have to be that I might actually have to drill some holes in there so we'll see what happens and uh, just bear with me okay so there are no holes for me to retain the brushes back so I have uh, took advantage of the plastic flimsy brush uh, bush should I say or thrust washer um, so what I've done, I've wedged that in between the brushes, so that's now holding them open. Um, because also, this little plastic part has to sit over the top of that before the motor comes on here. So it, it's, it does make life awkward putting, um, retaining the brushes back. And I didn't really want to drill holes, um, as they're not supposed to be there anyway. So I've cleaned uh, the commutator up and there's a little smear of grease there on the on the end of the spigot so let's uh, assemble this uh, bad boy back up and uh, put her back on the car and see if she works 
Well, I can confirm that the brush gear went on as planned. So I'm quite impressed with myself because I didn't need to swear at anything or hit anything with a hammer. So that just pushed nicely on. So that was um, uh, a good idea to do. So let's... Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll bend these tabs back in now, make sure that's all nice and secure. And I can just connect it straight up because it's all it is is a two-wire uh, motor system. There's um, there's no computer wizardry going on. Um, it's just a simple uh, reversed polarity at the switch. Um, so there'll be a common earth and two lives. So one goes one way, one goes the other. Dead simple, real nice and simple. So obviously, uh, we'll make sure that these connections are cleaned up as well before they're going on. Could do with a little bit of a clean, but they are in good condition. They are 40 years old, so we're not expecting miracles. Um, I might just dab a little bit of grease on this sprocket here just to make sure all is well. And uh, yeah, all good. So far, so good. So she's just rested on my lap. And I can confirm, we have a working motor. Beautiful. Right, let's get it put back together. Splendid. So, that's the motor back into position, uh, all on the, nicely on the runners, um, you can see one here, the other one is around about here at the moment, and there is also uh, one uh, round about here on the door, uh, yeah, it is about, yeah, it's about here, so this actually holds, like, this end of the motor here, and this end, the lever arm, and it pivots and scissors up and down there so that went in really without too much um hassle if i'm honest um so all i need to do is connect myself back up here let's see if i can do this one-handed no maybe yes yeah here we go in she goes lovely job done and wow that's never gone down, up or down so quick. Beautiful. Splendid. Job done. So as I was saying earlier on, um, down there all this darky coloured stuff is basically uh, dried up wax oil. Um, and I'm amazed how much is actually in there compared to the Jag. Uh, yeah, it does make you wonder what they were thinking. Um, while I'm at it as well, I think I'm just going to do the clips on this door lock because uh, it is a little bit loose and wobbly and I do need to address that. Um, so that's just one of the little jobs that I want to have a look at as well while I've got this door panel off. Um, but then apart from that, looks like we are all good to go. Um, everything's good. Um, so that's it for the moment right let's just uh, sort this lock out and i think i can put the door card back on marvelous splendid right that is me done for the day and there has been another video for the mighty white so that's it lock her up I'm going in because it's cold so there you go one window fixed so hope you've enjoyed this little video on the mighty white there just sorting that window out that really needed to be done because uh, as you can see I'm a smoker and I like to shove my ash out the window what of it so um, yeah like, like I says all good with the Jag for the time being um, <laughs> it's a strange one maybe I've disturbed something when I had the coil packs off um, and the ECU I've done nothing to it I've basically just put it back together swapped the coil packs around and it's been running fine and it's been like that now for a couple of weeks so I've done two long trips in the Jag one over to Leicestershire and back and then another journey over to Stoke uh, and I will be doing another journey today uh, over to Stoke in the Jag because I have got a gig to play tonight. So, um, 
yeah, it's 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 been absolutely fine. Um, whether I disturb something, like I say, it could just have been a, just a crappy contact on a coil pack. I really don't know. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see. So, ambassador's all good now again. Um, that window's now fixed. Um, you know, I didn't have a working window yesterday, but now it's job done. Um, I would guess that the passenger side is going to need doing as well, but now I've done one. I can do the other at my leisure on a nice dry day. Um, there's no need for you to see another video on that. What's the point? Just reverse this one. Um, Mrs. Wynn, um, due to the weather, I've got nothing done on it, which is unfortunate. Um, but, you know, that, that, that's just how it goes sometimes with classics, you know, especially if you're working outside, you're not going to get the opportunities that you need and, and the opportunities that you want all the time. So, um, Gary the black one, yeah, we'll worry about that next year. Not, not uh, too fussed about that one just yet. Uh, so, I'm not sure what um, Ricky and I have got planned for the future before Christmas. Um, we're now only a couple of weeks away um, and I think we, were, we was hoping to have a, a bit of a get together and obviously do a little bit of work on Agatha. Uh, that has not yet materialised but hopefully it will do soon but either way me and Ricky will get together at some point whether we go out for a curry or a pint whatever that will happen. Uh, we might video it, who knows? Uh, so, uh, that's all from the fleet for the time being. Um, if we do not get to make another video, I uh, just want to wish everybody that watches the channel a uh, happy Christmas and a happy new year. Um, get drunk, be merry, eat lots and watch your figures everybody. <laughs> uh, so, who knows? Un until the next time, um, Take care of each other and have fun. See you later. Bye-bye.